one. We have ignition and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft to extend man's senses farther into the solar system than ever before.
This movie shows cloud patterns on Neptune as seen by the Voyager spacecraft over a 68-day period. The individual frames of the movie are views of the planet at 17 hour, 52 minute intervals. This interval approximates the Neptunian day. However, winds cause the atmosphere to rotate up to 3% slower near the equator and up to 10% faster near the South Pole. Therefore, near equatorial features like the great dark spot and the neighboring bright clouds drift to the left in the movie. Proceeding southward, features like the small bright scooter, the faint dark spot, and the bright polar cloud all drift to the right. The movie uses images from the orange filter of the narrow angle camera. Colorization produces hues that match those seen by the human eye. Here is this, these represent the uh, outlines of the 39 wide field uh, uh, fields of view, wide field camera fields of view, starting with uh, uh, Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn, and moving on in. We'll now show you in more detail. This is the, this is the Sun, uh, this is Venus, that small point of light, of course, because from out there, the planets are small points of light. Here is the Earth, that tiny little dot is the Earth. <laughs> Uh, the bright streak that was behind it was scattered light in the camera system. This is a Voyager image of Earth and Moon taken just after launch in 1977, 1978 as I recall.